Welcome back for another week of Bulgarian Method Training. Uh, this is week four, and I'm starting here with a PR attempt at 535. Uh, but I'm just going to let that go on in the background as I talk about two main points for this week. Uh, the first one is that I've had some extreme hand and elbow pain, especially in my left hand. And I've been working on that, like I said, with the hammer curls, and they haven't been doing amazing so far, so I've worked more on focusing on the contraction and less on just doing the weight and I'm hoping that's going to help along with uh, I've also tried having my pinkies not hold on to the bar anymore and just slide off and just go three fingers holding the bar when I squat and uh, that that hasn't helped so far so I might stop doing that if it doesn't start to help me uh, so the second point that I want to bring up is that I started on this day with the 510 letting my wrists roll back more while I squatted. The reason I started to do this was because I saw guys that lifted really heavy weights on squats such as uh, uh, Brett Gibbs who has a, used to have a squat record and uh, Josh Hancock and many other he like heavy lifters they let their wrists roll back while they're setting up and I, I wondered if there was a reason for that and when I started doing it I was able to really get my lats in closer to me and uh, bring uh, pull the bar over my back and it felt a lot more stable and even my warm-ups were feeling a lot better so I've been sticking with that for about a week now and the only problem that I thought might come up was that I might have wrist pain because my wrists were cocked back during that but uh, since I wear wrist wraps I haven't had any problems with my wrists um, like I said the only problem I've, been, I've continued to have since the before was the left elbow and right left hand pain so I don't have any problems so far with the wrist cocked back but I'm hoping to fix the left elbow and left hand pain. It got so bad that you can see this day I only worked up to my daily minimum which was 295 and the the weight moved decently, uh, decent speed, it was just really painful so that's why I decided to stick with the 295 and not go up any higher. I also only lifted five days this week instead of six because I had to go to Columbia, Missouri to help teach students for a scholarship about finances and stock research and so I missed I missed one extra day and I thought that might also help with some my elbow and hand pain giving an extra day off and now towards the end I'd like to just quickly discuss how I think my uh, hips have been feeling since I fixed my lateral hip shift uh, obviously I hit two PRs this week I think that is partially at least attributed to my better hips um, they're definitely like the way the way I stand. My right hip isn't sitting back behind my left hip all the time anymore. I can set in my squat. I can set up with my feet even and not feel out of alignment. So overall, I'm still very glad that I decided to fix the lateral hip shift. And it was all because I saw in the first video I made for this, I videotaped from the back, and I saw that my hips were so offset, and it uh, got me to look it up and find out what I could do to fix that and now here I am with 11 pound PRs now all I need to do is figure out a way to get some PRs on the bench as well uh, for sure by starting with fixing my left elbow pain and doing what I can to help with my left left hand pain as well thanks for making it to the end of the video uh, hope you enjoyed this shorter video because it was only five days this week and uh, I hope you'll all keep coming back and, and enjoying my training and hopefully there will be more leveling up on my squad and hopefully eventually on my bench too. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching.